Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of .NET Core. In this session, we are going to understand what is CQRS. Before starting the session guys, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. So let's understand what is CQRS. CQRS stands for Command and Query Responsibility Segregation. It is a pattern that separates the DML, Data Manipulation Language or the insert of the delete statement and the DQL, Data Query Language where we are selecting the data operation for the data store. Implementing CQRS in your application can maximize your performance, scalability and security. The flexibility created by migrating a CQRS allow a system to better evolve over time and prevent update command from causing the merge conflict at the domain level. So in our old pattern, we have one data access layer and we have update and queries, we have command and queries we are directly accessing to, to that layer or to that model. But in case of our CQRS command and query res responsibility segregation, where we are segregating this data store into a two model, read model and write model. Furthermore, we can segregate the database also, read database and write database. But in that part, we need to con maintain the consistency of the database. So why we will consider us in CQRS pattern? Because of the complexity of the application, if the application is a huge and big one, we can segregate our command and query. Because of the messaging of the application or eventual consistency of the application. When we can go and use CQRS pattern, like when collaborative domain where many user access in the same data parallel level or Task-based user interface where users are guided through a complex process as a series of steps within the complex domain model. Or there is a scenario like performance of the data must be find separately from performance of the data write and read, especially when the number of read is much greater than the number of write, like the MIS project or the reporting project. And the easy development like there are two developers or we can four developers so two developers will work on the insert of the delete and two developers will work on the only getting the report or read read operations it is not recommend when the domain business rules are simple or a simple crowd style user interface can and data access operation are sufficient for if it is simple a simple applications so for this, I am going to use Visual Studio 2022 and an application I am using, I already created an application to use, how to use ADO.NET. So I am using the same application to segregate now using the CQRS. So it is now .NET 6.0 standard terms, long term support. So now if I, you can see I have API get all product, get all product by ID product by name, save product, update, delete. I have complete here in a single controller and I have used a model called product model, one controller, product controller here. Now my task is simply segregate the model and segregate the controller for this. Then it will follow my CQRS pattern. So let's create two folders. I will create a folder for read model and I will create a folder for write models. So you can see in the product model model, I am keeping everything same. In the write model, I am going to add class. Let's give the class name as product right model here i am giving the same properties 
again inside the read model i am going to add one more model which is product read model here i don't want my id i just want my name category and product price so i no need of this model now let's delete this done product model we segregate to read model and write model now go to our controller inside this i am adding two controller here again add controller web api controller add i am giving product write controller in this product write controller i am going to keep my write operation which is save product delete product and update product got it i am completely removing from here okay it's required the configuration so we need the con this controller here again and this is my constructor now it is a write model so i will use my product write model right everywhere now i am going to use product write model so my write controller also completed now add one more controller which is product read controller so inside this i am going to keep my write part so i need the same config i configuration in my constructor so let's copy paste everything okay i need to replace this one right and i no need of this route inside the write controller also i no need of this route because because my api contains the own route here guys and so many people is complaining my accents so please bear with me so here product read model is there so i have to give a product read model right so straightforward it is a simple applications i straightforward modify everything and now my project is segregated with CQRS pattern. Okay, so in my read model, there is no ID, so it will throw me error. There is no ID here. Here also, there is no ID. Now, let's build the application. So in our existing controller, which is a product controller only, we remove everything. Let's remove completely this product controller. Delete. Okay. Let's delete this product controller completely. Deleted. Now build the application. Guys, this is the simplest way without using any kind of external NuGet or DLL. I am explaining how we can segregate, how we can migrate our existing application into a, a CQRS pattern. So build succeeded. Let's run the application. So my every request will now go through, all the read requests will go through the read controller and read model. And the right request will go to the right controller and the right models. So our application is running. So you can see product read, product write, there were two separate controller for write. Let's see. Let's try it out it's working or not. Product name, let's say giving antivirus. Category is software and price will be let's say 150, 140. Right, click on execute. Product set successfully. Now go to the get all product, try it out, click on execute. So you can see that data is coming. 
we can search by get product by name also here so i want to search by a uh, which will be content top because i used so you can see desktop and laptop in the get product by name i use a like operator in this way we can segregate our complete application into read and write model and read and write controllers furthermore we can go and we can segregate the database also guys our coming session i will show how to implement cqrs with media tire in our dot net core application so please stay tuned and if you like this video give me a thumbs up give me your comment and suggestion in the comment box thank you very much